first thing that happened was Graham just presented me with a bunch of poems, about 12, 14 poems, and he was like, pick two, set them to music. So that was, I hadn't read the play at this point, I didn't really, I had some sense of what the story was, but um, my first job was just to pick the two poems that struck my fancy and to set them to music. And um, he mentioned the Pithead Lass, and it's a, it's a very, very beautiful kind of, I suppose, lyrical poem, um, observing uh, a young girl in, um, in a mining community that's sort of... I think one of the things about Kari is that um, he sort of elevates the people that he writes about um, through reference to sort of mythology and, and the classics and, uh, uh, and casting these, these very ordinary people as, I suppose, heroic in some way, um, which is kind of a, an amazing thing to be doing in his time as a, kind of, as a working class playwright in the 1920s. And it's just a case of sitting down with the guitar and starting to bash away, finding a, a tune, a pattern that I like, uh, and then seeing, seeing if, the words, if the words fit. And um, so far, so good. Just the beginning. I mean, what we're doing. Well, the, the wonderful. This is one of the nicest parts of the process. It's four musicians and our, our sound supervisor Stevie uh, in the room, purely thinking about these as songs, figuring out the best way for these to work as songs. Um, there's a whole other piece of work that's going to need to happen when we hit the room with the actors and with the choreographer and figuring out how to fit these theatrically um, into the into the whole of the of the production. Um, so that's got to happen. I watch you passing down the street these great days. 